Welcome to Codex. Hello guys. It's been a long time. Today I'm going to teach you that how to implement the skeleton loader means uh, you have been seen you have been using the Facebook and you saw there is a loader which is have a uh, faded uh, lines over there so that's kind of loader we are creating here so let's get started first of all let's start and create your project so you need to follow me I'm just creating an app skeleton loader my code is created let's open the code so you familiar that how to create the project open your IDE just uh, let's me create some config file for run dart okay now running my emulator okay let's uh, wait until it started okay it's beginning yes this is a dependency so we have to add a dependency that is scrutinizer i will share a link in description so let's add the dependencies here so let's just wait for its its bit of start okay let's enter the command flutter pub add the command is and uh, your skeletonizer so you have to make enter the dependency is added here you can see now uh, we have to run our application wait it's opening okay you know that this is the main file and i'm donating the stuff like all the files and uh, i need this home page in a separate file so i will delete it i'm deleting it uh, this is a new file that my home page the dart um, i'm creating here stateless widget that is my home page i'm using shortcut now importing the material okay let's uh, import this and we haven't been added any parameters to remove this okay so remove this comments and other things okay now application is run you can see the bank screen which is a scaffold actually okay it's a scaffold so i'm creating app bar this is a app bar and now the title is so uh, i'm using text widget inside the skeleton loader example okay now adding the constants to remove the errors okay, you can see here so i'm just making this little fancy i'm just adding uh, some colors i'm not teaching any designing pattern to you i'm just uh, teaching that how to use the skeleton only okay so it's a body i'm using the container and i'm adding a child i will create an example of list so i'll use the list view uh, just okay it's a list view builder and now here's the children's so i'm using the row and inside the row i'm using like for example data is a name and the uh, name of xyz something okay you can see here so i'm just adding some card here so it will look like different and uh, adding some padding which is automatically i'm not doing any fancy or designing things you know that okay i'm just uh, separated that card because i want to do multiple times you can see if you are if you don't know that how i did that so you can ask me i will create a separate video for this okay now i'm calling the skeleton skeleton has been imported let's call him the child here and uh, which child we have already created our new widget that is card but before that i'm creating the list view builder because i want to show the multiple things loading okay so item point is 8 and uh, returning that cards we have created below what's wrong okay i need the s it's a cards actually and semicolon okay now it's done you can see the code now you are seeing the uh, 
screen there is a loader already running so i'm adding some few things here so it's actually look like a loader so i just give a height to it and uh, now adding a circular avatar so it will show the circular loader like you are loading some kind of list you can see in a side screen okay so it's actually looking like a loader i'm just giving the color so it will look properly now you know it's a by default false so it is time to add actual the program so i'm declaring the variable which is a boolean uh, is loading i'm adding deleting variable that's it's a loading enable or not and default value is a true because when your page is started it will be started the loading and uh, then you have to create your api function and instead of api function i'm just creating the set timeout function which is actually counting the time and after 5 seconds it will be stop the loading and uh, showing the actual data so in this function you have to call your apis or anything your file that will be asking for the wait okay that is my black box auto completing the code now i am creating init state this function will be called or when the widget is built widget is initialized and uh, i am calling this set out timeout function is here okay let's run something is wrong okay, okay i forgot to call this enable here so it's not this it's loading let's reload okay now you can see i just uh, making time three seconds only this is loading this is set timeout function and this is in i'm calling this an init state okay and this is our card let's say everything is okay this is loading sorry okay let's restart now you can see you it will be working properly Thanks for watching.